We have almost completed our project here, but could use Starcon assistance. To be honest, Commander, I pulled a few strings, but this is an important mission, I assure you. Since you are scheduled to be present for the dedication of the Golden Light Years Retirement Center anyway, I hoped you might alter your travel plans to accommodate an earlier arrival. From the information provided me by my old friend, the Admiral, you would be able to warp here within a few hours. I require some assistance from your ship, as well as one of your crew members. Allow me to explain. Meanwhile, back in sick bay. <coughs> Apparently, the doctor is way busy as he completely ignores you. Jabba is an interesting looking fellow, that is if you think a melted purple marshmallow with an internal skeleton is interesting. He's the main research attendant here in the sick bay. I'm sorry, Mr. Wilco. The sequencer is for use by trained personnel only. Obviously, you don't fit that description. I'm afraid I can't allow you to use it. Ah, uh, come on, Jabba. Be a pal. Who'll know? I'm sorry, Mr. Wilco. It's a Starcon regulation. Jebba, who's gonna know? Let me try this one thing. I'll be out of your way. No one will find out. I don't know, Mr. Wilco. I'm not one to break regulations. I really don't think it's a good idea. I swear, it'll only take a minute. We're out in the middle of nowhere. No one will find out. And I'll tell you what. Anytime you want it, one free plunge job, day or night. What do you say? Well, I don't know. It'll only take a minute or two, really. Come on, Jebba, be a pal. Well, okay, but just this once. If anyone finds out I'm sunk, then I'll come looking for you to take it out on. Keep that in mind. No problem. I'll be done in a flash. I really don't know why I'm doing this. That bores me so. It wouldn't be prudent to do that at this juncture. Neat. I've always wanted to try one of these on the compost. Oh, hi Stellar. I hope your back's feeling better. 
They just finished treating me, and it is starting to feel better. However, I was told to lay off rescuing people for a while, especially you. So, did you have any luck? I got some information from the sample I ran through the DNA sequencer. When I tried it, all I got was a name. All it said after that was that the file is closed. I wonder why that is. I don't know for sure, Roger, but it seems a bit suspicious. When a file is marked like that, there's usually a very good reason. Most frequently, it indicates the file is closed for intelligence purposes, or it's legally sealed by some judicial body. In the case of those tubs of guts that grabbed you, I'd have to say it's not a government agency directly behind it. it sounds more like someone with access from the outside to a friend or two inside. A more paranoid person might say this smells way wrong. Then again, when did you last change your socks? If the files are sealed, then we have nothing to go on. True. The only thing I can think of is that they may be accessible by jacking into cyberspace. I've never done it, but I know it can be done. So I guess this means you won't be trying it first. Uh, I mean, I I'd love to try it. But I can't, since uh, we don't know how. Well, actually, I read it can be done with the help of a cyber jack and headset, and a cyberspace jack interface module. The article said there are several things to access out there, and that there's a vast library of files to browse. It said that the Information Superhighway Project is a little behind schedule, but that there are some operative areas. Other than that, I don't have a clue as to how we can gain any information about them. So you think this cyberspace thing could work? Well, I can only tell you what I've read. Navigating it takes a little patience, but I think it's the only option you have. I don't know if you'll locate a cyberjack and headset. Because of the delays in the project, they've become more like collector's items than marketable, functionable products. We do have cyberjack modules built into the compost. That's true. Of course, we won't know anyway without the jack. That bites. I wonder where we could find one of those. I wish I knew, Roger. There must be some place. Attention! We are now orbiting the Delta Berxelon 5 colony as requested by Starcon. Most of you know your assignments as they have been broadcast to your composts. Please represent Starcon properly. Kilbasa, out. You better get moving since you don't know yet what your assignment is. I have some checking around to do. We'll talk later. Thanks, Stellar. I'll see you soon. Maybe we can work in that, uh, dinner. Wow, a message for me. I must be getting popular. I wonder what it is. Wilco, Commander Kilbasa here. I have a special assignment for you. A crew person of special skills is required on Delta Berxelon 5. In the spirit of Starcon cooperation, we have decided to offer them your assistance. Transport there immediately. Kilbasa out. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Energize! Commander Kielbasa and that other guy look like they're just finishing up a conversation. Janitor Wilco, Dr. Bellows and I were just talking about you.